In this video, we're going to talk about the modulus function. It's a pretty interesting function. Let's have a look at the definition. It's f from r to r and it's defined by y equals to fx equals to mod of x. And we'll explain what mod of x means in a minute. x belongs to r. This statement has a few parts. This means that f is a real function. This is the domain. x can take all real values. And this is where the definition is, the definition of f. So let's break this down. What does mod of x mean? y equals to mod of x gives us output in two parts. It says, look at the value of x and depending on that value, you give a specific output. When you have x as positive or zero, when x is greater than or equal to zero, you output x. And when you have x negative, when you have x less than zero, you output negative x. Now this is an example of a piecewise defined function. It behaves differently for different values of x. Let's take a few examples to see what's going on here. For x zero, what will you get? Well, the definition says when x is zero, when x is greater than or equal to zero, which means zero is covered here. When x is zero, you output x. So x is zero, so you output zero. So for zero, you have zero. What about one? Well, one is positive. When x is positive, you output x. And what is x? That's one. So you output one. What about two? Same case. For two, you'll get two. For 3, you'll get 3. In fact, for all positive values, you get the same thing. So when you put in positive values, there is no change. You get the same thing as the output. What about negative values? Well, if you put in minus 1, you'll get 1. How? Well, if you put minus 1, it says the output is the negative of whatever you have put as input. So if you put minus 1, the output is the negative of whatever you have put as input, which is minus 1. And negative of negative 1 is 1. So for minus 1, you get 1. For minus 2, you get 2. For minus 3, you get 3. Basically, what it's doing is, it's saying negative signs are not allowed. If you input something negative, I'll make it positive. So let's look at the table for negative values. When you put in minus 1, you get 1. Minus 2, you get 2. And minus 3, you get 3. So there's a sign change happening for negative values. Whether you put positive values or negative values, you only get positive values. This is interesting. This means that the output is never negative. All right. So we have defined the mod function. We have looked at a few examples. Now is a good time to draw the graph of y equals to mod of x. This is our x-axis. This is our y-axis. We want y equals to mod of x. This is the table. These are some values that we can use to plot. So let's plot 0, 0 first. Then let's plot some positive values. So these are 1 and 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and so on. For negative values, we have minus 1, 1, minus 2, 2, minus 3, 3, and so on. And if you see the pattern, you'll see that it has a V shape. It moves like this in the positive direction and it moves like this in the negative direction. And you can see that all the action is above the x-axis where y is positive. There is no action, there is nothing here below the x-axis where y is negative. All right, what's the domain? What's the range? The domain is all real values. You can input anything you want. You'll get something as an output. What about the range? So for range, you can see that y takes values from 0 to positive infinity. So the range is 0 included to infinity. That's the domain and range of y equals to mod of x.